Hello fellow mathematicians. Today we're going to look at Core 2, OCR January 2013 paper, and we're going to be looking at question 4. It's about binomial expansion, and you can see that the bracket that we have to expand is 2 plus x to the power of 5. So you can use your calculator and NCR, or you can use Pascal's triangle to get to the fifth row. I would probably myself do Pascal's triangle really quickly. So I'd just draw it, start off with 1, 1, 1, and add the above two terms. And by the time we get to the row with a 5, this one is the row we're interested in. So our coefficients are going to be 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. Now I'm leaving plenty of space to work out the in-between terms. So the first one, we're going to have no x's selected from our brackets and 5, 2 selected from our 5 brackets. Because if you remember, this is actually 5 brackets written out and you're thinking about what you're going to choose from each bracket to make up each term. Okay. So the first one is going to have no x's and 2 to the power of 5. The next one is going to be 2 to the power of 4, and it's going to be x. The next one is going to be 2 cubed and x squared. The next one, 2 squared x cubed. And the next one is going to be just 2 and x to the power of 4. And the final one, you're going to select no 2s and x to the power of 5. So, there are our terms. Obviously, we need to now simplify. And it's going to simplify to 32 plus 5 times 2 to the 4, which is 80, plus 8 times 2 cubed, which is 80. And don't forget your x values, x, x squared, plus 10 times 2 squared, which is 40. So the next one is going to be 40x cubed plus 5 times 2, which is just 10x to the 4. And finally, on its own, x to the 5. Okay, so that is your answer for the first part of the question, which gets you your first four marks. In the second part, we have something that looks extremely complicated. Now, what I want us to do is compare the first part to what the second part is asking us. Hopefully, you'll see that it's the exact same thing as long as we pretend that the x and the 3y plus y squared are the same. So effectively, we are making a substitution that x equals 3y plus y squared. Now, because we've already expanded this bit, we don't have to expand the whole thing again. We can just substitute in 3y plus y squared every time that we've got x. Now, I bet you're thinking, wait a minute, a three-mark question and you've got to substitute all that in. Fortunately, the question's only asking you about um, the y cubed term. So if something doesn't give you a y cubed term, you don't have to worry about it. There's definitely not going to be any y cubed terms in a 32, so we can get rid of that. Let's investigate the next one a little bit more. Let's think 80. And we're going to have x. 
so 3y plus y squared. If we expand this, we're not going to get any y cubed terms. So we don't have to worry about that one either. Let's look at the next one. 80x squared. So 83y plus y squared, all squared, which means times by itself. And we can think ahead and realize, yeah, there are ways to get y cubed. So we do need to think more about that one. Done. The next one, 40x cubed. Okay. 40x cubed. So we're timesing 3y plus y squared by itself twice. 3y plus y squared. If we think about this one, timesing out all these brackets, you want one thing from every bracket and you want all combinations. The one that I've just shown in blue is the only way that you can get a y cubed term. Think of any other way. If you s select a y squared term, you're going to get over y cubed. So it isn't going to work. Now, we've sorted that one. 10x to 4, well, if you think about it, y plus y squared, if that was written out four times, they've all got at least y in. You're picking four terms, so they're all going to have more powers of y than 3. Okay, so they're all going to be, say, y to the 4 plus. For that reason, we don't have to worry about this term. And for the same reason, we don't need to worry about the final term. We have just simplified our question a great deal and saved ourselves a lot of time. So let's actually figure out what the y cubed terms are going to be. 8t times 3y times y squared is going to give us 240y cubed. We can get that a different way, as shown. That again is going to give us 240 y cubed and finally we're going to have 40 times 3 cubed y cubed so if we do that on our calculator 3 cubed is 27 times 40 plus 480 our final answer is going to be 1000 560. So that is the answer for the second part. That would be the coefficient of y cubed. I hope this has been helpful. I know the second part of the question is quite tricky, but it is worth trying to get your head around how to expand the bits of a bracket you need without actually doing the whole thing, because that would have taken you a very long time. Thank you for watching. 